Years ago, new engineers in the lamp division of General Electric were assigned as a joke the impossible task of frosting bulbs from the inside. Everyone thought it was a joke and laughed because frosting a bulb on the inside could not be done. Eventually, however, an undaunted newcomer named Marvin Pipkin not only found a way to frost bulbs on the inside, but developed an etching that was placed inside the bulb that made the bulb stronger. I'm hoping the light bulb has come on in your praise somewhere for somebody. With every impossibility we have seen, read, and know about our God to have the power to do, we should be stronger on the inside. Oh, I wish there were some folk who seen, like Marvin Pimpkin, has shown the way that to walk the earth uh, it, it, to, for God is impossible, that is, is nothing is impossible for God. Remember, uh, Marvin Pimpkin was new to the job. So he missed the joke. No one told him it couldn't be done. So he did it. Yeah, sometimes you got to miss the joke. I missed the joke where the devil told me that I could not be healed. I missed the joke where I filled out the application and it said not qualified. I missed the joke where my funds said none, but the document said approved. I missed the joke because for us, impossible is nothing. And I just wonder, are there two or three of you on the stream? Who know for yourself that the things that you have seen God do, they cannot be explained by men. I can't even tell you, you would not believe me if I told you the things that God had done or the miracles that he worked in my life that I've witnessed. They defy uh, every bit of logic. They defy every bit of learning. They defy every bit of science. They defy everything that you would naturally know in any book you've ever read. Every time I've called upon the name of the Lord, he has moved. That's why the psalmist said, I once was young, but now I'm old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I wonder, is there anybody here who knows that impossible is nothing? We can do anything through Christ who gives us strength. Oh, I'm so glad that I know that impossible is nothing. And so because of that, we need to walk in faith. This week and every other week that we are on this earth, knowing that with man, things seem impossible, but with God, everything is possible. He can defy every single law that man has written because he is the one who created everything. And by him, everything was created. And so I'm not concerned about, uh, yeah, we want to do what the doctors say. Yes, I want to do the right things to try to maintain my health. But I also know there was somebody who could prolong life, change life, can make things go away that are inside of us and could allow us to be healed if he say so. So I put my trust in him because impossible is nothing. And I'm possible. You're possible. Let's walk into week this week knowing that you're possible. And let's walk into this week knowing that he can make your cloudy clear. Whatever is clouding in your vision, whatever is stopping you from seeing him. You know, sometimes the devil puts up these blockers. To, and, and there are sometimes blockers in our brains, in our minds, to tell us that something can't happen for us. Yeah, this blind man probably had, he, if he's blind from birth, he'd been sitting there all this time impossibility of being able to see but his faith said i'm possible and with his mouth he opened up his mouth bless the name of the lord jesus heard him what can i do for you i want to see and and what was impossible became possible and he could see because impossible is nothing